Let's go! Oh, baby, here we are! Oh, snap! Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 1.3 uh, special story event that is going on here at the Law Fu. I oh, yes. I cannot remember the name of the event, but it's the one dealing with the street. That doesn't narrow it down, I know. That narrows it down so little, it's unbelievable. <laughs> It's Arum Valley. No, Arum We're Alley. That's it. I remembered it. Simple. This is also technically a permanent mode with some limited time rewards, so pick them up while you can. Hey, yeah. Over here. Hello there, Bailu. Hey, Bailu. Oh, yeah, you talked about wanting to go here. Huh. Would you look at that? You're easy to spot. <laughs> Are you going to Arum Alley? Maybe. Yep. Indeed, I am. Before you continue, I'm not your I'm a nah, free meal ticket. Wow. Yes, we are. A new arrival like you should get a tour guide. You know, I'm down. Doctor? Tour guide? Sounds like a fancy way of getting free food. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Was it that obvious? Bailu, all you have to Slightly. do all you have to do is ask us. It's fine. But the more the merrier, right? I go out all the time to see patients, so I know the food establishments around here like the back of my hand. I'm the best tour guide you could hope for. You know? I won't charge anything for my services. Except for food, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And if you get into medical trouble, gastrointestinal discomfort, sprained ankle, yada yada, You'll have a professional doctor right by your side. That's a two-in-one deal. Sounds nice. A two-in-one tour guide doctor? <laughs> Let the food tour begin. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Let's go. Huh? Hurry up. Do you want to I'm, I'm right here. Potato, you don't understand the snacks. They may sell. There's literally no one here. There's two people over there. Those people run the place. Yeah. Ooh, is that a Jade Abacus seller? Or a poster? Advertisement? Thingy? <laughs> We've reached our destination. Alley. Of course, the main feature of this tour is the endless selection of tasty delicacies. <laughs> I see. The folk dishes at Spices Supreme are a must try. This is the only place on the law fool you can find them. Hmm, dude. <laughs> so, now that we're here. Food time? You're the tour guide. What would you recommend? Why not? like to treat you to some Sinjo delicacies. Let's start with the snack stands. You can browse around for a bit. I'll go find us a seat while you make up your mind. It's <laughs> <laughs> that loud. Why are you such a goblin? Did you hear that laugh? Bailu in this event is it's truly channeling her little goblin. Food here. Back in business, baby. Should see what the other customers say about stuff. Let's see what people think of this place. Sup? Oh, wait. Uh, Jing Fung? Or Fang? It's Chinese, I don't know. These people know nothing about the value of brand exposure. That's Marketing 101. Um. Uh, have I seen you somewhere before? <laughs> wait, what's good to eat around here? Let's ask them about the well, food. Well, I can help you with that. I'm known around here as the Forager. <laughs> I venture into all manner of culinary establishments to taste test their food. <laughs> Bro, I I hope that there's a real life person called the Forager and they're like a food review critic. They dive through the gumst dumpster first. They're like just the embodiment of raccoons everywhere. I rate your garbage. <laughs> See how much food you waste. Oh, that's the seller at this food store. Legit. Let me do any taste testing because I'm not a paying customer. <laughs> what? 
Well, if they don't want free publicity, that's their loss. Bull, bull oh. crap. You're one of those people. You're one of those people. Okay, the thing about food reviews or reviews on anything, if you get a free product because someone's like, oh, I want your exposure, then that's great. But you should always be in the mindset to be like, I'm going to pay this. Like, I'm going to pay for this like everyone else. Yeah, because then you get the experience of a paying customer. Because <laughs> then you also get the dissatisfaction, too. Because if you pay a lot of money for just an okay meal, you're going to... That's going to suck. Imagine paying like $50 for a full course meal and it just kind of was all right. Where if it was free, it's like, well, I mean, at least it was a free meal. Free food. Yeah. You walk away going like, wow, that was better can't than that. Be, can't be upset about a free meal. Nah, nah, but if you pay if for you pay it. pay for a lot of money for just an okay meal, then. Your wallet cries. Sucks. Then You're, you cry. Yeah, <laughs> yes. You make them cry. Wait, what? You're clearly not familiar with this line of work. Taste testing gives the restaurant publicity. That means a higher sales conversion. Not always if you're some unknown nobody. No, exposure should just be a bonus. Honestly. Yeah. Like if you're paying someone for their work, and then you're also like, man, this person's awesome. Yeah. Or man, I ate at this really good restaurant. The prices are decent. For some really good stuff. Ah, forget it. There are other food vendors here waiting for me to appraise them. Uh-huh. Man, you're a loser. Anyway, <laughs> hey, Bailu. <laughs> I'm counting on you to go buy all the snacks. Don't keep me waiting too long. Down, do not keep the gremlin waiting too long. All right, all right, all right. Oh, good, I don't have to talk to you. Wait, is it past midnight? You're not supposed to feed gremlins past midnight. I can't, there's, uh, what's the real night, Sky? Whoa. What's what? with the Aurora Borealis looking thing? It's a screen. A screen? Well, I know it's a computer screen, Daniel, but I mean past that, in the game. Oh, uh, space waves. Space waves. Magnetic waves, brother. Oh, it's probably a shield, actually. Probably, right? I don't know. Genuinely. Is that just in the space? Is that going on? What? It's most likely just the dome. Oh, okay. She's like, Genshin's! Anyway. Huh. <laughs> uh, this travel guide needs an update. Uh-huh. Uh, excuse me? Oh. Oh, you want to know which snack stalls I recommend around here? Yes. Yeah. Well, you've come to the right person. <laughs> it's my first time here too, but I've tried everything. Whoa! Are you sick? Uh, there's a lot of things here that I've never even heard of. I was kind of scared to try them. Well, trying new things adds a bit of spice to life. Yeah. Unless it's, you know, poison or bad for you. Then it's, then it's you know, it's then it's then don't do that. Yeah, it's like going bungee jumping without the bungee cord. I don't. I don't think that's. Do that. I think that's just jumping. I <laughs> think it's just jumping. <laughs> it may sound interesting, but you know, sometimes things are just bad for you. Yeah. Uh, is there anything I should like avoid at all costs? Yeah, ask him that. Oh, have you heard of mung bean soda? The uh, Xianzhou locals say it's delicious, so I bought one, took a sip, and then sprayed it all over the diners at the next table. Ugh. Oh. It has a grayish green color and a sour, rotten flavor. Ugh. I reckon there's a handful of food connoisseurs that actually like it. <laughs> Try some if you dare, but don't get your hopes up. Gotcha. Oh, that was it. Okay. You with the haircut. Ah, <sighs> same great taste. Ah, uh, excuse me. Oh, at all. Interested in the food? In Aramali, there's no such thing as a bad food stall. Just close your eyes and pick one at random. My name's Shaohan. I'm originally from Aramali, mm. but this is my first visit in a long time. When I was away, I'd stay up at night reminiscing about the flavors and aromas of this place. Mm. <laughs> uh, have any recommendations? Okay. I'm almost tempted to ask him about himself. What do you think? I guess we could ask his life story. Yeah, let's do it. This Xianzhou gets plenty of visitors, so it's only natural that we should venture out and see what other worlds are like. Eh, yeah. I spent a hundred years away from home, and I have to say, <laughs> Aramali has seen better days. It's looking kind of run down. The only thing that hasn't changed is the mung bean soda. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we can't really see the top thing. Be I don't wait. think it's that bad. Are we talking about the alley or yeah, the soda? The alley. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm just nostalgic. I had a good career going out on the other worlds, but I always missed the alley. In the end, I decided to come back. Now, I'm keen to do my part and make this place a little better. That's nice. Hi, tall aunt. Auntie? Flip, you are tall. Wait, 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 go around the booth. Is she actually tall? No, it's a stool. Ah, uh, it is a stool. Okay, I was gonna say, never mind. I was gonna say you're as tall as Sampo. That's impressive. <laughs> oh, a visitor from afar. May I ask you a question? Do you like our Mally? Yeah. To be honest, not really. Wow. What the flip? I mean, uh, yeah, the people here are very friendly. Well, yeah. you are. Most people are. Most of these people are. Glad to hear. We always try to treat visitors from outside well. Oh, yeah, and the girl that runs the other place was nice. I hope you don't mind me prattling on, but since you're an outworlder, are you familiar with the IPC? Uh, do you know if it has a good reputation? What? There are cabal of predatory sharks. Uh, it's been a uh, it's been a great help to uh, pan cosmic businesses. All I know is it is its findy ads are really annoying. Uh, I don't know about any of these. I don't know much about the IPC. Yeah, I, I don't. I can assume that we're going to fight them. Maybe? Question mark? Well, I don't want to praise them, and I, I don't want to condone them, so, so I find their ads really annoying. Yeah, sure, yeah. Findy. I've never heard of that before. Perfect! Anyway, it sounds like you know as much about them as I do. Yup. Well, yeah. I can't just leave you here empty-handed. Take a look at the menu, order whatever you want. It's on the house. Huh? I love you! I'll have a Tuskpiri tusk wrap. Tuskpir. A song lotus cake. Mm -mm. A berry pheasant skewer. Ooh! Flip. Some steamed puffer goat milk. Uh, uh. Or some mung bean soda. Okay, half of me, part of me wants to order the soda, but then part of me wants the berry pheasant. That berry pheasant sounds really good. This what do you all sounds delicious, but we've had two people talk about the mung bean soda. Yeah, do you want to? I wanna... gotta try it, man. Let's do it. Alrighty. <laughs> oh no. Are we in trouble? Oh, it was actually an item. Oh, wait, we bought it for Bailu. Oh, flip. Oh, wait, you forgot about that? Yeah. I thought you were doing that because of that. Oh, I thought we were getting it for us. Oops. No. <laughs> Made from fermented uh, legume based. Am I saying that? Legume? I'm going to go with legume. Legume based products. It smells sour and pungent, but tastes cool and refreshing. Ooh. Actually sounds kind of good. If you can drink a big bottle of mung bean soda and remain calm, you will definitely impress the gourmandizers on the La Fu. Like mung beans? Oh, like mung beans? Like soda? Then what are you complaining about? Um, sorry, Bailu. I thought I was getting this for me. <laughs> Wait, but if it's cool and refreshing, doesn't that mean it's good? Is there anything good? Oh, you know it. Mung bean Mung soda. Bean soda? Is this some sort of prank? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the flip? <laughs> I did that on purpose. <laughs> what the flip dude, is that? Do that one. Do the bottom one. <laughs> Please. Okay. You drink it. Okay. I'm fine with that. Fine. How bad can it be anyway? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like drinking medicine. Close your eyes and cross your heart. Some medicines taste good. I will have you know. Don't freaking lie. <laughs> there are. Ah, it's the dragon lady. Oh. Here, I'll get you another serving. No need to be shy. <laughs> oh, we're both going to suffer now. Good. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, 
Monty. <laughs> Never mind, I'm glad I picked this. <laughs> Time flies before you notice. You return to your senses again. You find yourself immersed in the atmosphere of Arm Alley's bustling night street. M night market. Night street market. <laughs> <sighs> I'm so full of snacks I can hardly move. I haven't even gotten around to business yet. Business? What? I wanted to stop by Elegance Pagoda to buy some medicine jars while I'm out. Come on, let's go. <laughs> yep. Oh, hello there, dear. What would you like to have today? I uh, want to try some local law food snacks, customer. You'll love them. Sure. Oh, that's everything. And the only thing we can't buy is the soda. Okay, I see. Never mind. I'm glad I did that. Yeah, that was a good choice. Oh, man. Oh, what? Okay, a classic snack made from song lotus on the law foo. Once you take a bite of it, it makes a crisp laughing sound. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Occasionally, law foo gourmandizers uh, use it to tease out worlders. <laughs> Imagine being like, like, oh, here, take the bite of this. Ah, oh, crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine eating a biscuit and it laughs at you. <laughs> Dang, you that would be a great way to keep people in shape. Have like a really unhealthy food that laughs at you while you eat it. <laughs> Dang. I'd be panicking, man. Man, this looks really good. <laughs> Chomp. <coughs> oh, crap. Dang. Oh, that's way too funny. Whoa. What's happening? Chest. Okay. Oh, wait, there's a lot of people up there. What's happening? Don't know. Hey, what's going on at the dock? Something. People standing? I don't know. Some of the dock workers got into an argument with the IPC folks. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. This is our transitional point. Yep. Watch your words. No need to be aggressive here. How about we go see what's happening at the dock? Sounds like exciting. It Somehow does. This is gonna get us landed with running the place. When did you decide to show up, little Miss Feisty? How is this any of your business? Mm, lovely folks. As a cloud knight, I can't just sit back and do nothing when I see civil unrest. And for your information, my name isn't Little Miss Feisty. It's Sushang. Sushang. I think I've been saying Su Sushang this entire time. Sushang. Shang. Don't worry, she's also little and feisty. Please, miss, allow Arum Ali Merchant Guild to take care of this matter. You're from the Merchant Guild? What a joke. You people can't take care of anything. Everyone here knows that our room alley merchant guild is as incompetent as it is dysfunctional. The lease for the docks isn't even paid yet. Anyone care to guess whose fault that is? We just I'll got here. You, the merchant guild. I'm not denying that. Then say it out loud so everyone can hear. Excuse me? Our room alley merchant guild apologizes to every vendor here for defaulting on the lease and leaving us to pick up the mess. I mean... If that's really what she did, that's that's kind of yikes. But at the same time, we don't know the story behind this, and you, you sir, stop being rude. Sit down. Better yet, get down on your knees and beg for forgiveness. What is wrong with you? What is your what is wrong with your? This guy stinks. <laughs> Prepare to beat this guy up. I kind of want to beat him up. I, for all I know, he could Watching be in the right. Drama. Dude, he could be in the right. But at the same time, you should never treat someone like this. Holy crap. So. Do we just keep watching, or do we beat him up? Crack knuckles. All right. Wait, easy. We just came to watch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're being completely unreasonable. Why can't we talk this over? I'm not being unreasonable. I'm making a friendly inquiry. When will the IPC receive its lease payments? I you have so you. The voice actor is doing a fantastic job of how annoying <laughs> they're making this guy. I 
Okay, this is gonna sound really weird, but I freaking both love and hate this man. He looks and sounds great, and he's... He just makes you kind of want to punch him. They're doing a great job. I'm afraid we can't pay at the moment. Okay, yeah, so they're running behind on payments. That sucks. We leased this whole dock to your merchant guild, hoping that it would rejuvenate our room alley. And look at it now. A perfectly good freight dock has gone to waste. Oh, oh, that, yeah, that is pretty rough, admittedly. That is pretty bad. They said at the moment. That doesn't mean they'll never make the payments. Right. Ah, don't be so gullible. Why are you shaking? How about we make a little bet? <laughs> If the Merchant Guild can pay back the money no, you know, I'll get down on my knees and apologize to all the people of our room alley. That's really stupid. What? If you are technically in the right like he is... I, yeah, I don't like him, but technically... I don't like him! Technically, he's in the right. They haven't paid the money for the stuff they're supposed to, so he's technically in the right here, even though I'd like him not to be. He is. But he's being a jerk about it. You don't do stupid things like this. Whatever. I'll shout it loud and clear. I'm a raving idiot howling into the wind. And then I'll bark like a dog. How does that sound? Whoa! Sir, you can oh. leave that at home. Okay. Whoa! We don't need that here. <laughs> I, I feel like some voice actors had fun with this. Okay. And if they can't? Oh, that's simple. You apologize to me in front of all the people of our room alley, and you mm. bark like a dog. I don't like this bet. It's it's going to be funny because most likely we're going to win, but take the bet. <laughs> it's so childish. Don't accept it. Do it! Uh, I'm actually going to let Daniel choose. I have no input Take here. the bet! Okay, you say take the bet. Okay, do it. I mean, either he does it and looks like an idiot, or we're gonna get a really funny scene. Okay, do it. Yeah, let's go. Uh, you're not being very helpful, are you? Hey! In real life, don't take stuff like that. Don't take this, these kind of bets. and Don't do this. Especially since she has no control over anything that happens in this business area. This is a video <laughs> game. We can have fun. <laughs> deal. Yeah. She's gonna make a deal anyway. Yeah, she was. <laughs> You all heard that, right? I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you show to them. Wait, how long do we have? You have a day. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can do that. We're not. Yo, yo. Okay. Yo, yo. Oh, oh, we actually have to talk. Let's go. Miss, there's no reason for you to take such a bet. We're the ones who dragged you into this. It's okay. Seeing that arrogant sneer on his face made me sick to my stomach. I had to do something. We appreciate you sticking up for us. Um, but this... Oh, uh, huh? Standing up for what's right, mad respect. <laughs> let's go with Top, yeah? I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. let's do that. the bet it'll reflect badly on the cloud nights but you can't give in to bullies no i i don't like bullies whatsoever you just can't let them get to you though see that's the mm -hmm. problem it also depends if these guys are loan sharks then if that's the case then who gives a flip about them my name is ming shi i'm the secretary of arum alley merchant guild most people just call me miss secretary this leasing dispute is between the ipc and the merchant guild you shouldn't have been dragged into it. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey, oh, wait, hold up, hold up. We haven't volunteered anything. Wait, yeah, I mean, we're just hey, standing here. I mean, hey, it's all, it is a quest, so of course we're going to volunteer. But, haven't said anything yet. If I knew it would come to this, I wouldn't have gotten it. Hey, I'm not involved at all. She's the one that made the bet. I didn't. But you, you enticed her. Or enticed? That's not the right word. I was a member of you, the crowd. And I was simply a voice of the people. I bear no responsibility for the will of the people. <laughs> what, are, what are you talking about? I'm making political answers. Roll with it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, 
I guess we're involved. Is it too late? I think it's all late for that. We're already here. Flip. Yep. Sure is. I've already started placing bets. Oh, so Wait, if we tried mean? walking away, you would have dragged his back. I see. What do you mean you've been placing bets? So, is it true that the merchant guild can't pay back the lease? Uh, Miss Secretary, just tell it like it is. As things stand now, the merchant guild is in no position to pay back the lease. The dock was leased out to the merchant guild? Yes. The entire port. Now we owe the IPC an arm and a leg. Uh, Why did you decide to do that if you guys weren't going to use this thing at all? The food hawkers are thriving, but dock operations and other businesses are stretched to the breaking point. What can we do to fix the RMLE's balancing sheet? If we make the businesses more profitable, then maybe we have a chance of paying back the IPC. What's the point of making the businesses more profitable if the dock is still unprofitable? Then the problem is just going to rear its ugly head again. Yeah, I don't know. If we cut costs and tap into new revenue streams, we can turn things around. A lot of vendors in Aromali don't want anything to do with the dock, though. So it may be hard to find new sources of revenue. Then why get the dock? Sorry, that was really loud. Our neighbors are like, what the flip? <laughs> I... What do you mean? What do you mean a lot of vendors in Arm Alley don't want anything to do with the dock? Then why'd you lease it? Why'd you get a lease for it? Ay, 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 I, feel like, I feel like someone made a bad purchase. Someone made a really bad purchase. What about cutting costs? Cutting costs means reducing expenses. As you can see, the dock isn't even fully utilized. And the workers, well... The workers what? Uh, hey, 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 don't get any funny ideas about laying people off. Miss Secretary is just helping us think of ideas. Uh, if you ask me, I think our ordering system is rather inefficient. I'm sure we could reduce our costs if we found a way to improve it. Shouldn't you have planned? Can I give it a try? I am a masterful worker. You? <laughs> Dale, you know how to do this? Oh, of course I do. We're I... the main characters of this game, so of course we Oh yeah, we're the main characters. I should I should have known. Okay, here's the thing. If you ever are going to invest highly into something, have a plan before you invest into the thing. I feel like you should have all the details worked out before the purchase. I didn't realize you were such an entrepreneur. That's us. This is the face of the entrepreneur. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I almost fell out of my chair. Even the president hasn't been able to solve anything. <laughs> <laughs> Is this short lifer really up to the job? Oi! Hey, yo! Yo! At this point, I guess we've got nothing to lose. Don't gotta be rude! The flip is we're, wrong with you. We're yeah. trying to be helpful! I didn't know that. Imagine if someone comes up to you and like we wanna we wanna let this like this this tall guy or the short guy help us out. Like what do we do? What, there's no lifer. There's no lifer, it's like short life. Short him. freaking what? Man? Only lives for 100 years at best. Ha, got him. <laughs> low blow. Let's get started. I'm gonna. Sh sure, yeah. Let's let's start. I'll be in charge of everyone, and I'll fire that guy first. Oh, Daniel. Okay, wait. Complete inventory arrangement on Freight Star Skip. Yes, I read that correctly. I don't know why I thought I did that wrong. On Freight Star Skips and reach shipping targets to earn Merchant Guild funds. Select goods to perform rapid arrangement. Okay. Drag or rotate the goods to change their positions. What do you- oh. What do you, What the f flip? Look, Dosh, this is a freight star shift parked at the docks. The dock workers will do the inventory arrangement here. That you mean me. <laughs> yeah, I think we're the only ones here. Miss Secretary said that if we complete shipping targets through inventory arrangement, we can earn the mil- mer <laughs> We can earn merchant guild funds. Okay. Most of the merchant guild's earnings come from the dock earning. From the docks. Earning the merchant guild's funds is the key to paying back the debt. Below are the undispatched goods from various stores in Arm Alley. They can be arranged. 
I try to drag the goods, the dock workers will arrange them onto the freight star skiff. Okay. Oh, okay, so we're just like, we're the tactician. We're telling them where to put the stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there are workers. <sighs> no, we're lifting it with our mind powers. I'm, I mean, it, it is just a flower pot. Mind power. I could pick that up with one hand. Mind. Power. Mine, okay, well, mind power sounds cooler, so let's go with well, that. Well, mind power sound cooler. Well, yeah, that's what I just said. Wait, 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 no, no, you said, hold up. I can't believe you just said that. I just got your joke. Hmm? How dare you? How dare you? I mean, your powers are yours. I know, but you were like, mine, pal, mine, I saw. You, you did a that. linguistic joke. I did a linguistic joke, huh? What the flip? I can't believe I got owned like that. After arranging the goods, the profits will be calculated based on the goods value. Okay. Click the swap viewpoint. Oh, top down. All right. In this view, drag the goods to the freight star skip. That is not working. Okay. Of course, you can also click the goods to perform a rapid arrangement. Dun, 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 dun. What just happened? Complete general orders to receive shipping revenue. Begin shipping. Begin shipping. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yo, this yeah. is a cutscene. Oh, it's I assume that's going to happen every time. Okay, it's a short cutscene, but that was cool. Finalized profits. Let's see Dang. That's a good chunk of change. But not nearly <laughs> enough. Oh. This will certainly save us on shipping costs. What did we- wait, how did we save you on shipping costs? We literally just put flowers. We literally- That was it. We filled it to the brim with flowers. Isn't this a little unsafe? Wait, what? Don't worry. Our motto is safety first. Yeah, your motto what? is- What? Your safe- Mottos are- Mottos don't count for squat if you don't, you know, apply it. So you never thought of this before? Okay. I'm so awesome. I've done such an amazing job. No one's ever been as good as me. No one ever will be. Do we have a massive ego or do we smash their kneecaps? I don't know, man. All I know is that you about made me do a spit take all over the monitor and now I taste blood. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to taste blood from that. No, it, it went all up all the wrong pipes. Ah. Uh, uh, so... Baseball, the kneecaps, or inflated head? <laughs> um... I guess the top one. I want to go bottom, but let's go top to be nice. Jeez, don't get too full of yourself. It was, it was either that, that or throw them off a cliff! What do you want from me?! Impressive, but uh, if you ask me, inventory efficiency isn't enough to save us. Okay. If the Heron Express doesn't deliver the goods, then they're just gonna sit around collecting dust. I see your point. If you have the time, could you accompany me to Heron Express's Arum Alley branch office? No. <laughs> of course. It's just I'm better with brawn than brains. That's not true. Uh, it looks like Arm Alley is counting on me again. Or seems like I could make a career out of this. Looks like they're looking at me again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh yeah, we're definitely looking at you now, Daniel. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what? Dale became old suddenly. It was just like, whoa, suddenly 40 plus years oh, added on. Oh, my years are catching up with me. <laughs> Uh, let's go with bottom. Because, I mean, what else are we going to say? Doesn't look like it matters anyway. Indeed. Oh! oh! Yeah. Little bird, drop us your loot. Don't make me shoot you out of the air. Hey, hold up. That's not cool, bro. Why is it not cool? Because bird, robot bird lives matter. No, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> Flip. Don't lie to me. Mr. Youngfo? <laughs> Yo! What's up, hey, dude? It's Miss Secretary. And who do we have here? Gosh, us. 
I'm Sushong of the Cloud Knights. I think you already know the little girl with horns on her head. And this is... Awkward. The savior of Oryloom, Ali. I, 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 what? <laughs> it doesn't matter who I am. Just say I'm Dosh. <laughs> Fine. Good to meet you all. Uh, Miss Secretary, I heard you made a bet with the IPC. And if you lose, you have to bark like a dog? Uh, not her. The word got out pretty quickly, huh? Or maybe it was her. Everyone? Me? Me too? I don't want to do that. Oh, well, we can't lose. That's not happening. Oh, well, I, I was not making a bet. I, she made the bet, not me. Yeah, we were. We told her to make the bet. We we weren't no. saying we would do Those it too. Those outworlders okay. from the IPC are the worst. How did you get bogged down with them? Uh, um. If you didn't, uh, you didn't ask what would happen if we win. Or this noble, brave. Amazing Cloud Knight here is the one who made the bet. Uh, what do you want to click on this one? You didn't ask what happened if we win. Right. And if the Merchant Guild pay back what they owe, the only one barking will be that IPC stooge. We made our inventory more efficient. But the dock workers said we still need a way to distribute the goods. Wait. I was wondering if Heron Express would be interested. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What? Hold up! I finally caught up with the story for some reason that flew right over my head. You guys bought the docks. And you have the transportation. But you don't have a way to distribute the goods? How are you in business? They aren't. That's why it's happening. <laughs> I guess! Those dock workers don't want to take responsibility. And I'm afraid it's not our responsibility either. Then who should we blame? The IPC? No. <sighs> the IPC said that they would handle operations in Aurum Alley and promised to give subsidies to the vendors. I suspect they secretly told all the vendors not to use the dock for logistics. Oh, well that's bullcrap. If that they didn't explain why orders are so low though. <sighs> you say do that one. That's a good point. Can't just blame them for all the problems. If we can't pay back the rent, the financial damages will be manageable, but the reputational damage will be irreparable. If the Merchant Guild loses everyone's trust, it'll become an empty shell of its former self. And without the Merchant Guild, the IPC will have no competitors in Arum Alley's business district. I mean, not like you guys were doing anything anyway, to be honest. To be yeah. brutally honest, you guys kind of suck at your jobs. That is the honest truth here. I feel like these uh, the Merchant Guild people seem really nice, but they seem really bad at they what they- They seem really incompetent. They, it's really bad at what they do. The IPC wants to turn this place into a big logistics warehouse. By then, the food hawkers and used goods stores will have to move away. Uh, so no more Aurum Alley? Oh, rip. Correct. The physical space will still exist, but the Aurum Alley we all know its fragrances, its bustling tourists, will be nothing more than a memory. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But what are we going to do about the matter at hand? On the logistics side, we can reduce costs by making sure the delivery routes are planned efficiently. How the flip are they not? Mr. Yongfeng, please allow our friend to try his hand at it. He has some skills that could prove useful in this area. You guys do this for a living for the last who knows how many hundreds of years. And you don't know? I, I don't know. How are we better at this than Now deliver us a route to success. Ow. See? He's a quick thinker. <laughs> You're gonna ignore that, huh? Let me try. If it doesn't work, put someone else in. Yeah, why not? That, that's a good response. What the flip? Travel routes. Our room alleys hustle and bustle. Logistics mm -hmm. planning. Mm -hmm. Plan a route from mm -hmm. the store to the docks mm -hmm. to provide the docks with goods and orders. Start from the store or the end of the route and hold and drag to form a route to the docks. The shorter the route, the higher the score. This is fun. Oh, this is... Oh, I like this. And that is the easiest puzzle I think I've seen all day. What's the tutorial? This is, uh, this is the Arum Alley bird's eye view map supplied by the Heron Express. 
It can be used to plan the logistics routes. Okay. This is the Arum Alley dock area. We just finished the arranging the inventory here. This is the Heron Express, where a new batch of goods needs to go to the docks. I uh, see there's low level, mid level, and then high level. So Got it. Low level stuff. Finish planning the route from the store to the docks, and the docks will acquire new goods. So we just click and drag, right? Yes. This cannot be failed. Hold down the left mouse button. Okay, this is literally just do the thing. Got it. We got you. How do we move it, I guess? Sure. Grab. Oh, boom. Wow, okay. that's weird. Every route has its corresponding logistics score. Every grid used will uh bleh. every grid used will reduce the score by one. Now hold down the left mouse button at the end and just drag up. You know how to do this. And drag back the We we all know how to do this. Okay. This is very mobile gamey, but I kinda love it. Now it's all up to you. Please connect Heron Express to the dock area using as short a route as <laughs> possible. <laughs> oh. Literally is it, it, can we even fail this? After the route is done, Heron Express will assess it and provide a corresponding logistics score. Done planning? Select complete planning to finalize and receive the rewards. Ha. Boom. Burns. Like magic. Wow, look at all of them go. It's kind of cool. Logistics score reward. Things. Prosperity certificate. May Arum Alley rise once more. Ugh. Every time the president says that, it means we've got some unpaid overtime coming our way. Oof. I feel that. Yeah? With these routes in place, logistics costs will be reduced significantly. What were you doing before? Making them do loop the loops? I... I... What? I knew it! You're the heroes who can help us revitalize Arum Alley. Just now, go with it. It's, it's a video game. Really happened to Arum Alley? Well, Arum Alley was originally the busiest night market in Exalting Sanctum. In days past, this alley, famed for its food and commerce, was brimming with Arumatons collecting goods for their masters. But that prosperity has long since passed. Yeah, why? Restrictions were placed on civilian Arumatons, and new commercial centers began to spring up. It was like being on a gentle downhill slope. Everyone knew things were changing, but no one thought it was serious. That's... And none of you guys did anything to change with it? Sure. When the Lawfu was moored for maintenance and trade with the IPC increased, a new threat emerged for the Merchant Guild. The IPC's announcement of a bid for the development of Arum Alley. Their promises were visible, tangible, and extremely aggressive. Hmm. When Interesting. the gentle downhill slope suddenly became the edge of a cliff, no one could pretend to ignore it anymore. Both the Merchant Guild and Arum Alley itself were in jeopardy. I get the gist. Uh, that was none of the details. The contract for operating Arum Alley's business district is about to expire. And the IPC's regional mm -hmm. director has seen an opportunity. They orchestrated the dock debt crisis, and that's just the beginning. Meanwhile, vendors in Arum Alley have expressed mixed feelings about the IPC. Some see it as a crouching tiger with malicious intentions, while others see the IPC's promise of high profits as a chance to turn things around. Mm. But now the chill is setting in. Everyone is worried that Arum Alley is going to disappear. The Merchant Guild has to do something to help the merchants here. Oh, I get the gist of it. Yeah. yeah. On behalf of the Merchant Guild, I would like to formally extend an invitation to you all to serve as business advisors in the plan to save Arum Alley. Oh boy. Paid. Right? I mean, we're going to get paid in jade. How favorable is the compensation for this position? I don't know. Always be paid for your work. Okay, check it out. The Merchant Guild is tight on funds, but mm -hmm. we'll be sure to make it worth your time. Begin stellar, Jade. Don't worry. Why don't you talk it over with everyone first? 
I prefer to be paid for my work. Okay, let's talk it over with everyone. Wait, so Sushong and Bailu? I only came here for the food. I didn't expect to get tangled up in all this dock leasing stuff. <laughs> I know, right? Still, if you're willing to give it a shot, maybe Orm Alley doesn't have to disappear. Yeah, hey, you know. Wait a sec, you haven't contributed anything so far. Or, you're just worried all your favorite food stands are going to disappear. Well, or, or also, she is a kid. <laughs> she is a kid. You can count on us. You can count I on us. I knew you'd help us. A truly reliable friend. You got it. By friend, you mean a free meal ticket, right? Hey. Why? Why? Was that, that was my only dialogue option. Okay, don't get on Why? Me. Why? Don't the attack me for that. Game. Okay. Why? That wasn't me. That wasn't me. Mm. I know Bailu's like a hundred and something. Here for the food. She's, she's so adorable, game. Don't oh. bully her. Uh oh, you're willing to give it Oh, okay. well. No options for you. Oh, oh well, I thought you were gonna be voice acting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really hope you can help out. What, you don't wanna bark like a dog? I don't. Uh well, I refuse. <laughs> Don't, don't do it. But aren't you curious? I am curious, but I don't want to do it. Aren't you curious? Fine, if you must. Oh, I, I, I pulled your leg. What if we refuse? You don't want me to have to bark like a dog in front of all those people, do you? Besides, I'd really like to help the people in Aurum Alley. I would too. My home, the Sienjo Yaoqing, had much closer ties with the IPC. Initially, people thought they were just engaging in a little interstellar investment. But over time, things changed. Yeah, mm. they're all about the money. Gradually, the Yaoqing's younger generations began to enjoy the immersion produced by the IPC's entertainment division. Once they started wearing IPC clothing lines, you could hardly tell if they were Sienjo locals or IPC employees. What? After their coming of age ceremonies, a lot of them aspired to join the IPC. To make it big, the architecture across the whole delve began to change. Graceful flying eaves I saw as a child became fewer and fewer, and the glazed tiles and fallow earth bricks gradually disappeared. Sleek, Whoa. monolithic IPC buildings started sprouting up everywhere. D did you see that? See what? There was a glitch in the matrix. I don't know what you're speaking about. What? Speaking you totally about. saw it. Many of the Yaoqing locals older than 500, like my mother, will say the Yaoqing has changed. But they're not sure whether this change is leading to a better future, or if it's allowing short-life species to dictate their way of life. It's making everyone anxious. What is that popping in and out? A bird. A bird? Likely. Is it like flying by us or something? Mm. When I saw Ming Si being confronted by the IPC, I felt the same uneasiness. I've been around several lifespans longer than that stooge, but somehow I was still at a loss for how to deal with him. If our opponents were martial arts types, I could hold my own against them. But Arum Alley's problems aren't something we can fight off with a sword. I want to help the Merchant Guild. I want to help everyone at Arum Alley. Please, help me help them. Okay. Even as a short life? It's okay, short life. We got this. Damn, if you combine our two short lives together, then boom. It's a little bit longer. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> hey. What do you think? Will you become a business advisor for Arum Alley? I mean, if we want to see the story quest, we don't have a choice. Only if we're paid double your rates. Uh, Dale, isn't their issue money? Well, as a short life, we don't live nearly as long as them. <laughs> so I'm just thinking that our time in this would be considered more valuable than their thousands of years of time. You know what? You could actually argue that. You could. Maybe. I could. You could. I don't think it's gonna fly, but you could. 
I could make a huge stink about it. Great. I still haven't discussed any of this with the president. Let's what? go pay them a visit. <laughs> uh, what? You... Yeah, okay. This guild is interesting. What the heck? You received two new orders. New goods have been transported to the dock and await shipping. I guess we'll do that since we're here. Can we do that at any time? No, we have to finish the story mm -hmm. thing. But it says it was waiting for us to deliver them. Did we just do it from here? Maybe? I guess we have to do the quest. Keep going, I guess. Then the don't flip and tell us we can do it! <laughs> I think they were just letting you know that it had been updated. Wow. Hey, you! Or maybe you're someone who just has this. Oh, that is so nicely drawn. Look that, at that. That is nicely drawn. Dang. Is this the uh, girl from the quest, by the way? It looks like her. No, she was not next to this. No, no, I know different store, but similar model. Wow. I'm sorry. It, it's the same model. All play a non-playable character. What the flip is that? Oh, those are pieces of the big robot. Oh, you're Hello. Right. Miss Lian Yin, please tell the president that I have someone who can help us with the leasing situation at the dock, and also bring Arum Alley back to its former glory. That's a lot of hefty promises. Hi, I'm someone that can save y'all. Just because it says y'all, please click that middle one. Wow, seems like you have plenty of confidence. Freaking, you know it. Oh yeah. I'll go ask the president's opinion on the matter. Please wait a moment. Confidence is such a powerful thing in real life, by the way. Genuinely. No one hears what she said to the president. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. The president trusts Miss Secretary's judgment, but the applicant still needs to pass a test. You must integrate Oldie's Depot into the logistics plan. You have to what? Who? <laughs> I'm gonna flex my skills for you real quick. Yeah, do that. I'm gonna cringe into a car. <laughs> She's gonna go cringe and cry. Okay, our third shop. Plan a route and use the route advantages to increase the logistics score of oh. the route. This time, Oldie's Depot has some goods that need to be transported to the docks. As we establish... Uh, as we establish collaborations with more stores, we need to st uh, simultaneously plan multiple logistic routes. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now it's gonna get trickier. Oh, route advantages seem to have appeared in the courier net. Click to see its effects. Practice makes perfect. Increases your logistics score if you can hit it. If passed through here, the route score is increased by five. Hmm, it's pretty nice. There's no harm in trying. Let's link Oldie's Depot into this route advantage. Oh, we can go through stuff. Interesting. Ah, uh, wonderful. The effect of the route advantage increases the logistics score for the Oldie's Depot route. Do you remember where the docks are? That's our goal next. Okay. By the way, it seems like we can zoom in and drag the map to adjust the map view. Okay. Wait, why the freak? There's something right there. Yeah, so we'll have to rewind and just go through that. Okay. There's also a route advantage near Heron Express. Try to use it now. When you need to adjust the route, you can click this thing to enter erase mode. Click on any spot of the Heron Express route to erase the route from that spot onward. Oh, I could have just... Oh, well done. Clicking again. We'll, you know, do the thing, grab the you thing. You know how thing. this yeah, works. Yeah, we know how this works. I'm literally just reading off basic training. And straight up. Cool. Boom, Diana. Awesome. The route planning for the two stores collectively raised the logistics score. Click complete planning to finalize the obtain and obtain the rewards. And they fly! Fly, my pretties! Fly like a bird! Butterfly. You just... I don't know. Another two of those tokens. What do we use those for? The president we'll acknowledges out. your expertise and agrees to confer management responsibilities accordingly. Aram Ali Merchant Guild would like to issue a formal request. Please help us emerge from this crisis and revitalize Aram Ali! Only if we're paid for it. 
We can do that. I will rise to the occasion! Yes! It sounds actually pretty hype. Do that one. Now that that's settled, please come see me at the dock when you have time. Sure. You'll be able to help the dock workers do the inventory and help Heron Express with logistics planning. Yeah. I keep tabs on all the goings on in Arum Alley, including rumors and the latest gossip. If we can solve some of the problems in the community, it could help in rejuvenating Arum Alley. Ah, side quests. If it involves helping people in need, count me in too. So I'm assuming that'll be. Could um, you repeat that? <laughs> sure. Just come see me at the dock when you have time. Got it. You'll be able to help the dock workers do the inventory. Okay, I'm asking this. Okay, so helping the dock workers is probably the equivalent of uh, hiring people for the museum. Probably. Got it. Or just kind of like doing the random stuff and it'll help revitalize like random parts of the town. Gotcha. So in a sense, it's the same Anytime thing. Anytime you need anything, come find me. The important thing right now is to generate enough revenue before the payment due date. Got it. I'll be off to the dock then. Stop by any time. Roger that. Roger, Roger. Merchant collab established. Up paper, up plants, up rug. Rug? Rug. Can we place things on top of the rug? I don't know, maybe. I feel like that would damage it. Oh, and that's part one. Wait, but first things first. Let's talk any to you. The problem facing RM Alley is also my problem. If you encounter any difficulties, don't hesitate to come find me. Also, I should probably ask, do you really think we'll be able to pay back everything owed on the dock? Sure. <laughs> oh, I can't make any guarantees. But it's a video game, so we could technically say you betcha. But I will not make any promises. In real life, I would be like, we're going to try our best. <laughs> I cannot make any guarantees. That is the proper answer. Yep. I understand. But even then... It's impressive that you're willing to step up and help. Thanks. I have a mission from the Cloud Knights, so I have to leave for now. If I have time, I'll definitely come back to Arum Alley to help out. I better not see you in like three weeks. She's leaving us with it. <laughs> She's gone. Oh, wait. <gasps> Pilu. Pilu? Pilu. Leaving Arum Alley is a critical issue, but the president didn't even make an appearance. Yeah. Wait. Perhaps we haven't won their trust yet. Then why would they put you in charge of things at the dock? <laughs> wow, time sure does fly when you're trying to save the world. <sighs> I need to get back to the Alchemy Commission. Keep up the good work around Wait, here. Wait, no, don't don't leave us too. No, no, bye, bye, Lou. Wow, flip. <laughs> no. 